What's up guys, Alda and Lasalle back again with another blind buy. Stay tuned to find out what we think about this fragrance right here. An original penguin by Mussingware. Mussingware, we don't know the name, sorry. So stay tuned to figure out what we think about this fragrance. back guys to our channel I'm Alda I'm Lasalle and today we have another blind buy for you guys we are going to be talking about Penguin by Munsingware 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 yep. I mean Singwear. Yep. yeah to be honest I have never heard of this of this line I didn't even know this line existed I mean this is a design this is a designer fragrance um, they have clothing uh, yeah that's all I know about them I know they have clothing they they actually have really nice clothes. Uh, I didn't know they actually had a um, perfume cologne, whatever you want to call it, um, line. So I actually saw this on Facebook, and it caught my attention because I actually like their clothes. So I was like, you know what? Perfect for a, for a blind buy. So I decided to get it. As you see, so sealed. I have no idea how it smells, anything. So. Let's get right into it. All right, let's do this. Let's see, whenever you guys want to do a blind buy, this is the definition of a blind buy. You've heard about it, you've read about it, but you never opened it. You never been to a, a fragrance shop, and you never smelled a sample. This is what a blind buy is all about. Let's do this. Hmm. Okay. I like the bottle. The presentation, yeah, go ahead and tell us about the presentation. I mean, I really like it. it has a little penguin there. Uh, the color is really nice. The bottle's nice though. Um, really like it. Yeah, I like I like the gradient. You see how the gradient goes from like brown to yellow? Mm -hmm. Kind of gives you like a, a Dior Fahrenheit kind of vibe. Yeah. You know how the Dior Fahrenheit transitions from red to black? Kind of getting like a, that vibe with this gradient. All right, so let's do this. Let's check. Ooh, nice. It's magnetic. All oh, right. It's a magnetic lock? Oh, yep. just like the Dior Sauvage. Yep. All right, moment is truth. Let's do this. Why are you nervous? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's nervous. Oh, wow. All right. It's not, it's not very strong, but it's actually really nice. Check it out. Oh, I smell it from here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I smell it, yeah. Okay. Hmm. That's not strong at all. It's, it's like really, a. It's a very light fragrance. I like it. This is more like a, I feel like for daily, I guess. Like let's say you're gonna go work. Yeah, this is like a. It's more like a because it's not that sweet. It's really not. It's more of a fresh. It's more of a fresh vibe. It's not much of a really strong or sweet fragrance. It's more like it's more on the fresh side. It's more mm -hmm. like... I like it. It's good. It's not bad. I like it's it. Not, yeah, I like it too. Yeah, I like it. All right. So my review on this would be... All right. It smells like kind of like purple sage, floral type. Very floral. Because it's not sweet. Or no, it has like a hint of sweet, I guess. Kind of like vanilla-ish, I guess. Yeah. Um, I would wear this for work. Um, maybe for the daily. Um, I really liked it. It actually ex uh, exceeded my expectations to it because, you know, normally um, fragrances that uh, have clothing lines and stuff, uh, they, they're, it's not they're bad. They're just okay, I guess. But actually, it was pretty, it was pretty good. Yeah, I, I gotta, really liked it. Yeah, you gotta be careful with designer fragrances. But uh, it's actually good. I liked it. I would wear this. Like, like I said, for work, my daily, uh, yeah. Daily routines. So if you're gonna go to the mall, you're gonna do some chores, you're gonna go to work. This, this would be a cologne uh, fragrance for that. Yep. So, um, very floral, not very masculine type, like most fragrances, but it's more on the Fresh well, side. On the fresh side. More fresh side. side, yeah. Definitely. Yep. 
Definitely. Mm -hmm. I really like the bottle. <laughs> yeah, the design is looks really nice. We got the we got the gold cap, and the cap is magnetic. magnetic. You got the the gradient. Even the, the bottle. Even the cap has the small penguin there. Oh, you can see it right there. Yeah, I think you can see it. Yeah, it looks overall nice. the presentation looks nice. Yeah, I really like it. And for the scent wise, it's it's really not bad. I expect the worst, but it's actually pretty good. Yeah. So uh, definitely, is it worthy of a blind buy? Yes, I would say yes. And actually, it's on the cheap side. It's actually it was around twenty five dollars. I think it was. It's actually not that bad. Uh, you can get. I got it through Amazon, and they ha they do have it on their website, Penguin.com. I think it is, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I got it on Amazon, so you can search for it on Amazon. You'll get it there. And it's, it was around. I think it was like with tax and everything, it was like twenty six dollars, something like that. So I would recommend it. I will definitely will. I, I would. Me gusta mucho. Well, guys, that's going to do it for today's blind buy video and original penguin buy. I forgot the name again. This is Weird Weird Bland Munsingware. An original penguin buy Munsingware. Munsingware. Floral fragrance. Not too masculine, not too sweet. It's more on the fresh side. Worthy of a blind buy? We will say yes. For your Definitely. everyday routine, going to work, you're going to go to the mall, run some errands. This is probably a good fragrance for that. So, thank you guys for watching. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fragrance videos. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, you guys. God bless.